Whoa. Around that way, and then. Oh, how you feel about that? <laughs> to red rockets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Inside Pass. We're here in Austria for the 11th round of the MotoGP Championship. We had to stop by in Salzburg to check out the amazing collection that Red Bull has of reconditioned airplanes, F1 cars, rally cars and MotoGP bikes. So we are at our maintenance hangar and uh, if you can see all the aircraft are already lined up uh, for the race of Spielberg. You're going to see them uh, flying. Hope you are going to enjoy the air show before the race on Sunday. You will see this one uh, flying uh, around uh, the, the course quite often. This is the spot where the uh, camera is located and we have uh, then our operator sitting inside and taking all the nice shots you can see in, on TV. Here we have something faster. It's uh, an Alpha jet, so it's uh, we have four of those and uh, these are the fastest aircrafts we have in our hangar. So in bike racing we talk a lot about top speed. What would be the top speed? Of this one is uh, 1000 kilometers per hour. What? We have uh, some smoke generators on it. So this one uh, will be the one flying at the, at the race. Uh, so you're going to enjoy also the smoke show. But I also have a surprise for you. Really? Yeah, let's go out and we'll show you. Okay, sure. Let's find out. It's a daddy job, but someone's gotta do it. Yeah, it's a daddy job, I guess I better do it. Thanks to the Flying Bulls, that was insane! And we're now here at the KTM factory racing to take a look at some behind the scenes filming with some of the KTM riders. And look at who we just bumped into. Hello! Abidiere! <laughs> so, Paul, what are you going to be doing today? I think something about WP, um, some adjusting of works, okay. suspensions. Okay. I think I'm useless everywhere. <laughs> But in suspensions, maybe one more. <laughs> so let's try it. <laughs> this is like washing the dishes at home. If you do it wrong once, then you're fine for the rest of the life, you know, because you broke all the plates. And this is the same thing. If you do it wrong the first time, they'll say, okay, better you don't touch anymore and just uh, keep on riding. It looks easy, but it's not. Anything looks easy on the bike. You can see the eight, no? Ready? Yes. Who's the passenger? Oh, John. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, How are you feeling about being the passenger with Brad on the bike? <laughs> uh, who's the passenger? You. Oh, how you feel about that? <laughs> No, you just find out that he's a passenger. Age problem. Hello. <laughs> Actually, yesterday at dinner, he was seated all time like this, like super lean, like this. Like no, this. because I have pain. Because he have pain in the ass, and he sit like this all night. Do you know Fluffy? No. Do you know Hi, sister. Hi. He can't stand more than me like that in that position. <laughs> it's not super clean, huh? Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> that was Hollywood action. 
Amazing, incredible. You see the KTM boys? Yes, they did a good yeah. job and now we are ready to yeah. go to our home <laughs> GP. Do you think they have a future in the acting career, in the acting world? <laughs> I think the acting was quite good, so yeah. I would prefer them as actors than on no. as mechanics, <laughs> not as mechanics on our bike. So better, be, better being an actor. So, what's your favorite thing about the Austrian GP? Probably the shows, uh, the helicopter, you know, acrobatics. Red Bull put on a, a decent show for us all, you know, there's always something going on every afternoon, so it's quite cool. My win of last year. No, it's a track that I really like. I think that for our bike is one of the best. The track, I like a lot of things. The smell is quite strange here and it's nice. And the track for our bike, it works very well. Yeah? There is mountains and uh, the people is really nice. I think it's the last sector. The environment is, uh, is great. You know? see where it's placed. I feel home. I don't know. It feels great to be in the mountains. Well, our team's home GP. We got this insane hospitality. So many people here. The place of the circuit, I, I really like it. The layout is following by the, the natural thing. Why do you think the victory still resists you here at the Red Bull Ring? <laughs> because uh, last year uh, was uh, one rider faster than me. <laughs> Uh, two years ago, another one with the same bike <laughs> to <Turu> red rockets. <laughs> but it is now 59 premier class poles for this man, Mark Marquez. Since it's Red Bull's home ground for you, let's see how some of our other athletes feel about MotoGP. My second time here, and then when you feel all the all the energy about the motorsport fans in Austria now with KTM in the MotoGP. It's quite amazing. It's every time nice to be here in uh, Spielberg at the Red Bull Ring because it's uh, a very nice place here, middle in the mountains. I love the MotoGP. Uh, I've always watched it being Italian growing up in Italy. It's such a cool event and being able to watch it here live, uh, it's incredible. I absolutely love it. What a day though for VNE Snipers Honda, a 1-2 for Penati and Tony Arbolino. Danny, it's the Austrian Grand Prix this weekend and you know we really miss you out on track. How would you feel about getting back out on track in a car? Uh, well, for sure it's not the same but at least you go back in the track so yeah, always exciting. And how would you feel about actually driving a safety car? Uh, yeah, it can be fun. Why yeah. not? Why not? Cool, then we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, cool. So we're getting ready to do a lap of the Red Bull Ring. With Danny Pedrosa. Hi, everybody. So, how, how does it feel? Uh, for the moment, <laughs> to get in the car. Comfortable. <laughs> it's not so tight as in the bike. So, yeah. yeah. I think uh, it's going to be interesting for you guys to know a little bit of this uh, racetrack. Yeah. Uh, we can share with you a little private information only riders know. So, <laughs> that's going to be a little extra to watch the race tomorrow. And we are going. The first braking is uh, very strong and it's uh, one of the most difficult corners because you can e easily make a mistake. Yeah. And then you have... This place is very fast. It's uh, like a chicane, yeah. but really 300, 320 kilometers per hour. Yeah. And you have the most difficult braking on, on, on the track. Yeah. Overtaking places, a mistaken. Here it's... It's quite tight. Very tight, corner, as you can see, <laughs> it's super tight. Very important acceleration. Yeah. Wheelie, a lot of wheelie. <laughs> Here riders can make uh, many mistakes in this corner. And here there is no margin for, for error because as you can see the... The runoff the, is not... The runoff is not asphalt. So if you make a mistake here, your race is finished. This corner is second gear and then you go to, to this uh, very fast right-hander. Yeah. Always on the slide. Here the rear tire is spinning. This is my favorite part of the track. Yeah. Which is left. And... Uh, these two left are very, very fast. Yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> not e here, not place for overtaking. 
but here you must be really preparing the last part of the track. Yeah. In this right hander, it's this is easy corner, but now coming the last uh, two corners on the track and the last over chance for overtake. So as okay. you can see, it's completely blind. You see nothing until the last moment. The corner is here. And it's very easy to, to make a mistake. To make a mistake around here. And last corner and just straight out. It's a, it's a very short track. Uh, but uh, really, really fun when you have a good, a good feeling. And for the races, also fun to watch. Perfect. That was really cool. Thank you so much. That was a lot of fun. Thanks. Bye. What an incredible experience to be able to get out on track with Danny in a car. But MotoGP has a brand new safety car, so let's go take a closer look. MotoGP has a new safety car. It has the M8 who's joining now all of the other safety cars. And to get a bit more insight into the car, we have BMW M CEO. Hello, how are Hi. you, sir? Very good, thank you. What changes did you have to make to the car in order for it to become a safety car? Well, of course, an obvious is the LED light on the rooftop as well as we have flashing uh, headlights in the front. The car features race specification bucket seats and uh, belts. In the middle you can see the um, control bar for the, top, for the rooftop uh, LED lights. And behind the seats you see the custom-made roll bar and the fire extinguisher system. And of course we took out the rear seats since we don't want to put anyone in the cage. It's got 625 horsepower. Impressive. And it uh, accelerates the... uh, in below 3.2, 0 to 100. And what's the top speed? Top speed get? is about 315, 320. That's impressive. It That's... is impressive. Very fast. The, the rear wing actually is taken over from the M8 GTE race car, the car that uh, was racing in Le Mans. Yes. It's an exact carryover part from the race. It provides more stability uh, at top speed, but also at cornering. It's yeah, you need it on a race car. Yes. And the car has an impressive sound. I don't know if you're if, if we're allowed to start it, but please, if you please want, start you can it. Give it a yes, try. please. Yes, let's start the car. The car has a uh, racing style titanium exhaust system, and uh, let's give it a try. <laughs> That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> it sounds incredible. Well, thank you so, so much for giving this insight into the new MotoGP safety car, the M8. It looks absolutely amazing. You're very welcome. Thank you so thank much. You Bye. Bye. The checkered flag is out and he does it. Brad Binder wins at home for Red Bull KTM. I'm here in the paddock and I'm about to meet with a rookie. This is Pedro Costa. Hi, Pedro. Hi. How's it going? Good. I have a bit of a treat for you. We're going to be meeting up with one of the KTM Tech 3 riders. Okay. And he's just right here. Hi, Miguel. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Miguel, I was thinking, you know, it's, you know, the race back for them after the summer break and it would be really cool and a real treat. If he, you could show him around. So, shall we go inside, boys? Yep. Okay. Let's go. To give people an idea at home of the big difference, what's like the, the horsepower difference and the weight difference? How many horsepower you guys have? I think 60. 60. Yeah. Well, we have around 270. Also, the weight, I think a rookie bike weights around 80 kilos, 85. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 85. 85? Yeah. And, and your uh, MotoGP bike? It's around 160. Yeah. It's a big difference. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Do you help out? With yeah. your bike. Yeah. What do you have to do on your I bike? I only have uh, one helper and uh, your mechanic boss. What do you work on when you uh, help on the I bike? I can change the suspension and other things. Yeah. Do you remember having to do that? I remember having to do everything from uh, loading the van, drive to the races with my father, which is also a mechanic. Yeah. So Miguel, how many years has it been since you left the Rookie Cup to get all the way to MotoGP? In 10 years. How old are you now? 50. Some riders take much less. I don't think it's a talent-related thing. It's about uh, working hard, getting the right opportunity, the right bike. It's very hard to arrive, but to stay here is even harder. Everyone wants to sit here. <laughs> uh, you need to work hard to keep it, because once you achieve something, you are looking to keep it and maybe achieve something better. Well, thank you so much, guys. We're going to head out and, and let you work with the team. Yes. 
So Absolutely. they get back to work and we don't get yelled at? <laughs> Already just got in the picture there. Okay. <laughs> okay, mate, good luck. All the best. Yeah. Can this be the year that Mar Marquez takes his first win here? Let's find out. The green flag waves at the back and the lights will go on shortly. Up in the top left. Away we go here. Good start from Marquez. Oh, oh he's he's gone down and Marquez pants as he saw a little gap. Oh, the has gone through. Andre Vichoso has picked his moment then. Let's start off by saying that this race was dominated by Mark and Dobby. It started off in the first few corners in which Mark went wide and Dobby overtook him. They took it in turns to lead the race and it came down to the last few laps and to the very last corner when Dobby overtook Mark and took the win exactly as he did back in 2017. 14 race wins in MotoGP and perhaps one of the very best for the Italian Andrea De Vincioso. Mark Marquez will have to wait until 2020 to try and get his first ever win here at the Red Bull Ring. Join us next time where we will be in Silverstone for the GoPro British Grand Prix for the 12th round of the MotoGP Championship. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite part of the vlog was and what you would like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe to the Red Bull Motorsport YouTube channel so you won't miss another episode of Inside Pass. See you next time!